hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study and in this video uh, let's just have a explore about the bench talk environment because many times uh, i mean we have created this environment and we just simply deployed application and we surf for it but once the environment will be created what you can do with this environment what are the features being offered uh, by this bench talk environment so let me quickly go to my console and here in uh, elastic bench talk we have already created one application within those application we have already one environment available with us so we'll just quickly go to that one now we'll just try to explore every single thing from here that what each one will offer to us so health is okay that means our environment is running fine and it's serving our application if you want to access this application you can just simply serve from here and your flask app works version 2.0 because earlier we deployed a second version now this particular environment is a part of this application because we know that applications are nothing but the container for your all the environments so within a one single application it can have a many environment environment id that's unique identifier for it and there is some uh, platform version also one can change it so currently only uh, one version but depending on what kind of runtime you are going to use and this is not uh, specific to python related uh, stuff but it's uh, in general way on bench talk related things platform state supported okay so now events so while we try to uh, create this environment deploy application creation of ec2 instance everything will be listed here see so all the events happen that will be available here health so how it is just going to serve all the request so you can see enhance l health so if i just try to open this uh, instance you can see this is the instance id okay now let me just go to this ec2 instance once again and i'll just going to navigate to ec2 instance now here with this particular id with the uh, instance type t3.micro in this availability zone you will be able to see one instance is continuously running with this same id so internally this bench talk is going to use this uh, ec2 instance only for deploying our application but there are a lot of management things uh, will be taken care by aws itself so if you just search for here it's just like a single uh, instance only nothing different okay it has its own ip address public ip it has even private ip okay so everything is same okay so that is the instance some logs so currently no logs being uh, displayed so you can always request the full log or last 100 lines from here so all the logs you can download from here now this log is specific to your application okay let me download the log and you can see whatever happening with your uh, machine all the logs are available see all the get request we have sent uh, while accessing our application this is the where log nginx error dot log see access dot log everything is available here okay monitoring that uh, some of the metrics you can monitor for your uh, machine like cpu utilization networking network outs okay okay some alarm stuff so you can always create some alarm let me just go ahead and create so for which resource you want to create it environment health dimension okay some statistics and i want to show you that what you want to measure from this environment and at the end uh, you just want to notify uh, after some threshold point that environment health uh, is a one of the metrics we want to measure and let's say if it just goes beyond certain numbers then it just going to notify via different channels so channel will be in this particular case sns topics that's a pop up queue kind of thing and automatically this topic will be created it just going to notify to one of the email address also and notify when state changes to okay or alarm or insufficient data so this way it just going to alarm it okay uh, manage update history so in case any update happens that will be available here at the end we have a tags so tags are 
nothing but uh, some identifier you want to associate with your environment and that's a very common concept here okay so these are all options uh, we have explored apart from that uh, on the top uh, we have seen how one can upload and deploy the new version from here uh, from the action let's see what are the things you can do you can rebuild environment so exactly same environment you can rebuild it you can terminate this environment in case you want to restart the complete server so if you just try to restart it eventually this particular machine instance is just going to restart it clone so exactly same environment one can create it and we have uh, important concepts like a load configuration and save configuration because while creation of this environment we have seen there are a lot of options there are a lot of options even we skipped also but uh, when you try to deploy in a real environment production kind of system there are hell lot of uh, configuration you need to take into consideration so for that let's say similar environment you want to create it with some small changes so same configuration for this particular environment let's say config one with the config one name you can always give the description that why you are creating this uh, config one let me save it and with this uh, all the saved configuration will be available here okay and uh, if you just select you can see with this one you can just simply launch the environment see everything is available by default and uh, instead of uh, there is a uh, one place it has already selected yeah platform so with this configuration it just going to create immediately the new environment okay so you don't need to bother about every single option okay if i just select this one is there any option cloning environment swap environment domain so swapping environment domain will modify route 53 dns configuration which will take uh, minutes your application will continue to run while changes are propagated so you want to uh, associate the environment uh, domain with some other environment domain so in that particular case the traffic will be uh, redirect to your chosen environment so we don't have any other environment currently available we are just uh, one environment so this way you can redirect your traffic and we have a load configuration see so load configuration also we did redirect you to the saved configuration select your saved configuration and launch your environment immediately okay so this configuration i don't require so i'm just really going to delete it and our development environment see uh, yeah application version so whatever number of different uh, environments uh, we have created uh, that is available here there are many uh, just for the experiment purpose also i uh, deployed it earlier so those also available here you can even upload from here yeah see upload directly and you can provide the uh, description and versioning stuff so within a my app uh, we have one environment and i don't require this one in case uh, in future for some other uh, stuff if we require we'll just uh, simply deploy one more application once again for now let me just select this one and i'm just simply going to terminate this environment and i'm just going to keep uh, the application as it is because that is not uh, consuming any resources that is just the plain container to club all the environment and know into one single place okay moment i started terminating this elastic bench talk environment at the instance side i want to see whether it stop yeah it's stopping see and one more ecd instance it's keep on running in my case so that is always there i am just pointing out to this particular instance my first step because that is being created from our elastic bench talk environment okay so that is all about the complete exploration about the elastic bench talk environment what you can do what are the feature it just going to offer now there are a lot of other run times also being supported uh, like a docker java php then node so most of them i'll try to cover in this particular series so that's all about this video i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like and comment on my video please 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 do subscribe on my channel